Hello everybody, welcome back to Winter's Craft Studio. Um, today I am going to do a black, red, and gold wig head, um, just to kind of see how this comes out. Might be a little dark, um, but you know, it's Halloween time and I just kind of wanted to see how it works. So um, I do have a little bit of paint left in my cup. This is a cup from Mixed Media Girl. Um, this is specifically done in two different sides so that the paint doesn't mix as much, which is great for something like this um, because with the black, it can get really kind of muddy and the colors aren't really separate. So the other thing that I'm using today are the Artist's Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paints. Um, I have found that these paints tend to keep their lines better. They don't um, like mix as much. They don't give you the cells, you know, so it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But for this specifically, I really wanted to be able to define the colors. Um, I have also pre-sprayed the bottom of the wig head with Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer 2-in-1. Um, sidebar um, the spray paint and the um, styrofoam don't mix very well so it'll kind of eat away at it so when you spray it you really have to do it from a distance if you do it too close it will eat your wig head um, or whatever styrofoam you're spraying it on so just keep that in mind if you're gonna uh, prep with anything like that all right I'm gonna go ahead and start filling my cup I will time-lapse this also please keep in mind Whatever you put in the cup first is what's gonna come out last. Like I told you, I did a project with black, red, and gold earlier, so it looks like there is a bit of black at the bottom. Um, so I'm probably gonna go a little heavier on the red and gold just to kind of counteract that black because I don't want the head to be too dark. Okay, so we are back. Here's my cup. Um, I've found recently that starting on the sides and then going back to the face has kind of been the way to go. Um, so that's how I'm gonna start this one, I think. Um, I am just gonna start somewhere else and then come back to center. Um, just seems to be working better. There is no right or wrong way to do this. So, um, you know, experiment, have fun, see what you find out. Um, and let me know in the comments if you find a better way. Um, I would be happy to hear what you found. Um, I'm always willing to <laughs> listen to anything that makes this easier because honestly um, I found that these wig heads are a bit cumbersome um, they're just they're just difficult to get full coverage they're difficult to make sure that the colors don't muddle um, so there's just been a good good amount of challenges they also take quite a bit of paint um, which is not a problem you just you know have to know that going in like I'm probably gonna need another cup, not a full cup, but some more paint, um, just because this takes a lot. Um, so I'm going to save some that I have in here right now. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get the top of the head here. Um, I'm going to go around I'm going to fill some spots with my finger just because this will move and change. So you're not going to hurt anything by doing this. Um, I will speed this part up because it may take a minute and then we'll come back. pretty good I think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the face um, and then I'll probably get a little bit more towards the bottom and then I will kind of let her sit and spin for a little bit and we'll see what we get. All right.
Hey guys, welcome back to Winter's Craft Studio. I wanted to bring you in for the finished product. So this is the wig head. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a quick spin so that you can see her on all sides. Please excuse the sound. That's the turner. Okay, so that's the wig head. I think she came out pretty awesome actually for Halloween. She's kind of perfect. Um, and then the painting, well I guess I should keep it this way, huh? All right, well here's the painting. Top left, top right. See all that gold in there? Bottom right, bottom left, middle. And all of these patterns are caused from the dripping from the wig head. So I thought that was pretty cool. It almost looks like a tornado. All right, so there you go. This is a follow-up to the wig head and the painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. You want me to do a specific color palette. Um, you know, something different to pour on to make different patterns. Uh, anything you guys have, please leave those in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Share this if you can, like, comment, share, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.